Hey guys, Sam from Irons Outdoor. Today I am at one of the, a spot that I come to a lot. It's a spot that's got a couple spillways, just like right below this big lake. And I heard that fish are on beds in the creeks down here, like right below the spillways. So that was a couple days ago. I don't know if those fish are still on beds or not, but I definitely want to check it out. And if they're not on beds, hopefully we can just catch something. Um, this is a spot I love to just do multi-species fishing at. Um, and I've got, I've got a few rods, like a couple kind of more for bass and then one for just a little lure that can catch anything. So hopefully we can get on some fish today. It'd be nice to catch a bed fish, but I guess we'll see. All right, y'all. And as soon as I got out of my car with my fishing rod, this guy down here saw me, got his fishing rod out of his car and like raced down here. So it's kind of going to dictate where I start off. I don't know where he's trying to fish, but I might just pass him and fish the creek below him. Oh yeah. I think I see a bass on a bed out there in the middle. He's not on a bed, he's just chilling. Got him, there we go. First cast with the uh, tiny brush hog. There we go. We got this bass that was on a bed. Dude, he's better than I thought, honestly. Ooh. All right, well, nah, he's about the same as I thought he was. For a second, he looked a little bigger than I thought he was. But there we go. I mean, this is, usually when I'm bed fishing, I'm a little closer to the fish. But this whole spillway, I mean, it's just like, there's like a little underwater wall and the whole, like to this side of it, it's just like two feet deep or less. So this guy was way out in the middle on a bed, but I'm happy to get him first bed fish of the day. All right, I'll let this, let this fish go. It looks like, yeah, he might've been caught before. I think I hooked him on that side and looks looks like he has a hole right there. So poor little dude, I'll let him go. All right, y'all, there's a bunch of red breast sunfish right here that I think are bedding. And some of them have been hitting the top of the water a bunch. And I actually just casted this out here in my first cast. I had a fish uh, attack it. So let's see if we can make that happen again. Oh my gosh. As soon as I casted it in the water. They're over there. He just missed it. They're biting it like crazy. Like they're still attacking it. Oh my gosh. Some of the fish hitting this are green sunfish, which have like pretty big mouths. So I don't know if they're just not trying to eat it or what, but they are attacking it. There we go. Will he stay on? A tiny one. Finally got one. <laughs> There's been ones a lot bigger than this hitting it. All right, y'all on the, about the like 100th hit from a sunfish. I got one and there's some big sunfish hitting this, but for some reason I got like one of the smallest ones that's bit it, but it's a little tiny red breast. All right, we'll let them go. And there's been a bunch of red breasts hitting this and a bunch of green sunfish. So hopefully we can get a few more. One of those little like foam flies, like the water bug flies would kill it right here. He's right there. Do I got, I don't know if I have him. Do I? They've gotten off a bunch. Oh, no, I have them. There we go. Yeah, this is a lot better. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, I finally got another one. I mean, I've had like, the fish hit this like hundreds of times. And this guy was on a bed. I can see a couple of them. This is a pretty good sized one. All right, y'all, I'm gonna release this fish. It's a beautiful little red breast sunfish. And he was right over on a bed over there. Let him go. I'm gonna go right back over there. There's a few over there. Ah. He's looking right at it. Got him. I think it's another one. <laughs> I doubt it's the same fish. There's like two or three over there. My drag is real loose. All right, I'll take him. He might be a little bigger than the last one. Yeah. There's a bunch of them over here. It's another nice red breast off a bed. For whatever reason, like, they do not like stuff on top of the water above their beds, but I'll release this guy. I said, I'm trying to film with my phone of, of the fish attacking it. Oh, I have one. I was, I was filming on my phone, it was just sitting there. 
Maybe I need to like not hook set and they'll just get it. All right, this one looks like, I don't know, it's just a red breast. It almost looked like a green sunfish. All right, I think this is a little red breast. He's just not quite as colorful. Oh, not the best release, but there he goes. There you go. It's a nice one. Yeah, I think I need to stop hook setting. Oop. Do I have one? Oh, I got a little one. A little red breast, I think. Yep, little red breast. That's not a bad one. Yeah. Yeah, double. <laughs> First double of the day. Yeah, a little smaller one. Not quite as colorful. Got another one. Yeah, you really do have to let them take it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, this guy's hooked pretty good. This guy's got some nice red fins there. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful one. Look how bright those colors are on him. That's probably the most beautiful fish of the day. The colors on that one are just like so vibrant. Even on the tips of his fins, it's kind of like blue right there and then kind of bright orange. Oh my gosh. He hit it like so much, but he didn't get hooked. Oh my gosh. Do I have him? Finally got one from right there. There have been two fish that have continually hit it right there. And it's a red breast. I thought those were green sunfish. I'm pretty sure there's some green sunfish, but it's definitely mostly red breasts over here. I mean, I haven't caught a green sunfish yet, but man, they love this creek hopper. In the right conditions, this can't, thing can be just a sunfish slayer, but I'll take that guy. All right, y'all, well, I just missed a catch. I don't know if I missed one catch or two catches, or no, I think I got the last catch, but I got a little green sunfish on the trout magnet that I switched to. So he came right in front of me by some rocks. I'm surprised this, it took like so many fish to get a green sunfish. You got another one. Another green sunfish right between the rocks. He's about the exact same size. Yeah, green sunfish, they love to hide under rocks. So I'm not surprised we got another one right there. And these guys are beautiful too. I mean, it's got some great coloring on them. There's one. Another one on a trout magnet. They like this little trout magnet too. This is a fat one. He's been eating something there. Maybe a bunch of bugs on the surface. There we go, I got one. I saw a few down there. Man, oh, this one looks really similar to the last one. Very similar. I would think it's a different fish. It almost could be the same one. Oh, oh there he goes. All right, y'all, this is the end of the video. Today definitely didn't turn out terrible. I mean, I got that one bed fish at the beginning, which is kind of, you know, what I was trying to do today. And then I just found that spot where those sunfish were just going crazy. I mean, every single cast with that crick hopper, I was getting hits like crazy. For whatever reason, it was really hard for him to get hooked, but I still ended up catching like quite a few sunfish. And I got the, you know, I got that fish off a of bed too. So definitely not a bad day. And it was fun fishing with Ethan for the first time too. We both caught a good bit of fish, so. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.